Moo! Hello everyone, welcome back to The 5 Reasons. I'm Matthew Oliver, your wedding planner. I'm here to help you plan your wedding any way I can. So I know I promised I was going to be around for good now. Obviously last week I lied to you, I wasn't around at all. However, I was creating this amazing wedding um, with the Americans, Caroline and Tom. Congratulations. It was an absolutely fantastic, beautiful day. Photos will follow. Today is the 1st of July, so I'd like to congratulate Jolene and Ben for winning the 105 Reasons competition video. That is absolutely amazing. It's going to be your weddings at the end of July and in Oxfordshire, and I actually can't wait to help you on your day. So today's five reasons is wedding menu advice. We all have a menu at our wedding. If it's a small little buffet, if it's a big free course meal, if it's a hog roast, a barbecue, we all generally have something to eat at our wedding reception or wedding breakfast in some countries call it. This is really important supplying food for the guests because obviously it's something that they'll always remember and it's one item on the budget that is fairly expensive and one of the highest of the wedding budget. Obviously it depends on how big you want it and how small you want it as well. So this advice is here to help you create something special for your wedding and something that you all should know and do in the planning process if you are planning it on your own. So the first reason is choose something you like. Choose something that you like obviously it's very very important because why would you want to eat something that you don't like? Why would you order mussels if you absolutely disgust, hate mussels? So choose something that you particularly liked as a couple. Maybe something that when you first met there was a, a menu there that you first had or something that, um, something that means something to you. So don't go down the route where, okay, yeah, Jolene loves this it loves muscles. Let's every, let's everyone have muscles because she's an important person. Obviously, I use Jolene as an example there, not because I'm actually creating her wedding. That was the first name that came into my head there. So I do apologise to you, Jolene. I didn't mean to put your name out there. Um, second reason, if you have a theme, make sure the, the menu goes with the theme. Because if you're going down like the vintage like country garden route, why why would you have something that doesn't go with that theme? You know, why would you go for like... Um, let's say um, seafood when it's a country garden wedding you're probably more looking like you know little little canopies and little nibbles little tea party sort of food examples so try and make sure if you are having a theme to go down that route you don't want to go completely to the other side because otherwise it won't match your design third reason choose from a selection of menus don't just go with one menu and that's it go yes that's perfect Look at a selection of different menus from a different selection of different caterers. Don't always just go with the flow and just pick the first one. Make sure you look at a few. And that, and if you can, this is the fourth reason, if you possibly can, make sure you try them as well. You might even have to try a few menus and narrow it down that way. You can mix and match for a starter, a main, a dessert. I know I'm, the caterers hate this video because obviously you don't... You, it's easier for you <laughs> but yes if you can try it as well okay and the fifth and final reason make sure you give as much information to the caterers as possible about that menu if someone's vegetarian make sure you have a vegetarian option if someone's allergic to something in that date make that make sure they have something alternative to that so try and supply as much information as possible to the caterers otherwise that is going to be a disaster and that person is going to be upset at the wedding day this is the five reasons. I do hope you enjoy it. And I do hope you listen to these very important reasons about your wedding menus. I love you all and I will try my best to stay with you as long as I can and keep producing these five reasons videos. Any questions, any ideas that you have and any, any five reasons that you want to be shown, just give me a shout and I'll be more than happy to produce them for you. Love you all. Take care. And again, a massive congratulations to Tom and Caroline who got married last week and to Jolene and Ben for winning the competition. Thank you very much and have fun and take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.